Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Gaming. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to use and craft a sleeping bag in Rust. And this is very easy to do, so let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So uh, here I have my sleeping bag, and this is very easy to craft. I'm on the console edition, so if I go to my crafting options right here, all I have to do is collect 30 cloth. So I have 55 in my inventory and I need 30. Now a sleeping bag will allow you to spawn at this specific location if you die. Otherwise, you can give this to a friend. So if I go to my bag right now, I can press the square button and I can name it. So I can distinguish it from other sleeping bags. So I can just put Tim in here and my sleeping bag is called Tim. And if I hold down the square button, I have more options like I can rename the sleeping bag, I can pick it up or I can give it to a friend. So if my friend is in the server, I can search for their name under here and then I can select them and I can give ownership of this sleeping bag to that friend and then they will be able to spawn at this location if they die. So let's say they are new to the server and I want them to spawn near me. Well, if they're all the way over here at the mining outpost, I can have them spawn at the sleeping bag right near me. So I can give them ownership and they should be able to go ahead and spawn here, which is great. So if you're out adventuring and you're worried about getting killed and you don't wanna go ahead and run all the way back to your corpse, well, go ahead and craft a sleeping bag. Now, to collect cloth, it's very easy. If you're starting out, you want to go ahead and find hemp. Now, hemp will look like this up here, and it will often spawn near beaches and waters. So there's some water in the background, and the hemp went ahead and grew up here. So if I harvest the hemp, I'll collect the cloth, and I get about 10 cloth per harvest. But if I go ahead and cut the hemp, I will get hemp plants, which I can go ahead and grow. So I went ahead and harvested it and I got my hemp. And if I look at my inventory now, I have 60 cloth and then I have some hemp clone right here on my hot bar, which I can go ahead and plant at my encampment. So let's go back over to my camp here and just plant this on the side here. And this hemp will go ahead and grow in a matter of like 30 to 40 or 50 minutes. So I have this growing and you can see the yield percentage, the hydration, the progress and how old the plants are if you go ahead and look at them. So it's very good to grow the hemp clones because you can go ahead and get even more cloth if you're going to be making a bunch of sleeping bags. Now the other way that you can go ahead and collect more cloth is by killing animals and then hitting them with the stone tool right here and you can harvest cloth from them, leather, uh, maybe animal fat, etc depending on what you kill then you can also collect cloth from cutting down cactuses just like this so if i go and chop this up i'm getting cloth each time i hit it now just don't get too close to the cactus otherwise you're going to go ahead and get stung a little bit by the pricklies on it so i'm getting a bunch of cloth from this big cactus and i'm just using a stone hammer and that seems to be the best output for me right now then you can also get cloth from recycling like materials. So if I go over to this barrel, I can collect this and then recycle it at one of the stations on the map. So let's go and just collect all this junk from this, all this scrap. Now, the sleeping bag is kind of nice because I can put it down and then I can move it to a different location with me as I go. Now, the only bad thing is when you're using your sleeping bag, as a spawn location, you can only spawn on it every five minutes. So if you just spawned on it, you're going to have to wait. So here's my sleeping bag. I put it down. Let's go to kill and respawn here. And commit Subuku or wherever it's called. And then my map will open up. And I can see my sleeping bag under the right side. Just use the D-pad up and down to select it. So let's go to Tim. And I will spawn right where I died with my sleeping bag here. So let's go ahead and wake up. And here's my corpse. So I'm kind of spread out all over the place. But let's go ahead and collect all my loot and just transfer all my goodies. Get this back on my hot bar. 
And boom, that's how you use and craft a sleeping bag in Rust. So it's very easy and convenient to use. If this video did indeed help you out, go and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six gaming.